Hello and welcome to episode 2 of Junkyard Truck Simulator. Today I thought we'd start having a look at some of the jobs that uh, are available to us to do. Um, now the most easiest one to do is the rubbish, obviously. So we'll, we'll clear a good bunch of the rubbish from the town and then we shall have a look at getting some parts for the truck see how much things cost etc uh like i said in episode one it's missing an air filter uh some drive belts if that's a thing uh some uh leads here as well are missing from the uh, from the coil to the spark plugs so yeah but before we go anywhere we're going to pop this open and we're going to put some oil in the car because the oil light is on in the car so let's grab that and it's just a simple case of tipping it upside down and finding the right pixel that's all it is which is oh, easier said than done Especially when it doesn't want to play ball. Just trying to listen out for the sound. Like that. And that's apparently done. Now we can... That's empty, actually. So that's good. Oh, I said we were going to have a look for a bike as well, didn't I, around here? A motorcycle. It says about teleporting a motorcycle. Uh, that's not interactable. Neither is that. That is interactable. Interesting. Okay. Does this mean we can wash? Said vehicle doesn't seem to let us do anything. It would suggest perhaps washing the vehicle. Maybe I've got to be by the vehicle for it to let me do anything. Oh, and that's opening the car. No, I don't know. But yeah, no, I have not found a hair. Have not found a motorcycle. So I'm not too sure what that does right now. But we do need more oil anyway. Let's pop that back on there. Let's open this one because. We can put the fuel in the truck anyway. Put that down, open that. And again, in case of getting the right pixel. Just so we know the fuel truck uh, the truck has got fuel in. There we go. Drop that and shut the lid. We'll just keep that one in the truck for now. Uh, so that's the car emptied. I did put the cap back on. Shut that. And let's head on into town. And get some jobs done. See the fuel, uh, the oil lights going off now. You might have noticed it was on on the dash before, in the last episode. But I will need to buy some more oil today. Always handy to keep an oil container in the car because, like I said in episode one, the car tends to drink the oil. But like I also said, there's no way of... doesn't seem to be a way of fixing the car. Unless I'm 
completely missing it somewhere. Because the brakes are terrible as well. And as you can see that the hood is still raised through the damage on the car. I have not restarted the game and got back to the same point. I did manage to dig the car out of the out of there. Basically, I just followed the lake. Uh, followed the lake, keeping the le lake on the left-hand side. And I found a, a flat enough surface for the car to climb its way out, if you like. And get back up onto the road. But yeah, I don't know why it wouldn't. I don't know why it wouldn't um, let me use that service unless I'm missing something with that. Uh, we are going to need to buy some more food as well. Actually, I put all the money in here, didn't I? Uh, with Draw everything. Thank you very much. Put that back in there so I've got the money on me. Uh, let's just buy all the beef arenos. Energy drinks. Four dollars. Pack of 12. Yeah, we'll buy another pack of 12. Oop. Okay, let's pop this in the car. Oh, I said I was going to buy some more oil, didn't I? Car, oh, because the car will need it eventually. So let's pop that in there and grab the shopping. Beautiful. I can get it out again. There we go. Wonderful stuff. Uh, oh, I was going to check actually on prices for. So it definitely needs an air filter and some leads. Air filter carburetor, $20. Looking at twenty dollars. Uh what's that? That's a fan belt, twenty-five dollars. It's possibly missing. Hmm. Where's The wiring leads, uh, what they call um, ignition leads, ignition coil leads. Didn't see them. What's this? Tire catalog. We don't need that just yet. That's drive gears. I'm intrigued to know what that noise is. It's him. I need someone to shut off the overflow valve on the water tower. Problem is, the access road is gone. The weather this year pretty much destroyed everything. Okay. Sounds like another side mission. We've got to shut off the valve of the water tower or something. But we obviously need the truck to do all these things. But he wasn't there yesterday. Oh, he instantly looked at me. Oh, 
his, their heads, his head follows you like it does in uh, My Summer Car, a freaky way. Oh, the door's open as well. Excuse me. Ah, uh, what? You here for that job? My service guy quit, and I have all these cell towers that need maintenance. Easy work, but the problem is getting up there. If you're able to get up there, all you need to do is flip a breaker switch. You'll also have to find a way to hop the fence, since I can't find the gate key. Okay. So he's the one about the cell towers. Makes sense, because of the, uh, the Wi-Fi signal. See? There's... I thought that just... They just spawned back in, that's all that is. Okay, draw distance thing, I guess. So, yeah. <laughs> Some uh, things are happening already. But, um, I've been completely sidetracked. This started off as looking at the, uh, at the uh, parts here. So I can't see any ignition coils. There's a distributor cap. Maybe that's what it wants me to change. Because maybe some parts aren't like um, what you call it included in the game. If you know what I mean, not like drawn in into the game. But anyway, anyway, ah, there they are. Plug wires, twenty dollars. Totally missed them. So it's twenty forty plus the fan belt, sixty five possibly. That's possibly double. Ooh. If the car will start. <laughs> um, yeah. Because there's plenty of rubbish bags here. $10 a pop. And you need to do seven, uh, seven rubbish bags. And we're good to go. So let's stop the car. Get out. And then we can get the rubbish bags in. I said we can get the rubbish bags in. Plus if it'll let us do it, deliver the beer again. I don't know if it will because he told us about the furniture. There we go. Perfect. Um... More rubbish bags. Down this way. I know the driver's door is open. Here we go, there's another rubbish bag. Trash man! Uh, ah, yeah, to do this get them in the back we've got to kind of crouch down and do that something like that now in the uh when I was messing about with it, I managed to squeeze seven bags in the car. It's more down that way, I know. But is he there? He is there, but he's still got that other crate, so I'm guessing we can't do that just yet. There we go. Dump the car there. Grab these trash bags. Stop. And kind of go 
glitch in the back there, like that. That's four bags in the car. And we get another one there, like that. Five. Then I think you can get two in the front. And then that gives us oh, all the money we need. For the parts for the truck. Well, from what I can see, at least. One more in. I think that makes eight bags then in total. Might be able to. Uh, eh. Yes. That's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Obviously, the game. Um, I'm obviously expecting you to use the car to start for some jobs because the truck doesn't run and you don't have enough money to survive and build the truck. Uh, but yeah. Let's try not to fly off the side of the cliff this time. Apparently, I can't get to the ignition. Turn it off. So let's just take the bag out. So what you do is you basically put the bag in here. Trash bags. Wait. Put the trash bags in here. guy at the top there will give you money for doing that. Ten dollars a bag. Did we get eight bags in the car in the end or was it seven? Uh, two, four, five. Possibly got eight in the car. Yeah, we did. Seven. Eight. So that'd be $80 then. Pay me! The city is gonna be all over me with this. What's the money go up? Seven dollars. Oh, it's down there. Seven dollars. Up to 87. Yes, we did get eight bags in the car. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Shut that. Shut that. Oh, 
Right. Let's get back up to the parts shop. And we're going to buy the... Um, the air filter. We're going to buy a fan belt. And ignition wires. Ignition... Or spark plug. Spark plug wires. Rather. And that's basically... without killing ourselves. So we want those. Okay, that automatically takes the money off of you. Okay, fine. Just pop them in the car. We're going to want one of those. Though the fan belt wouldn't stop it starting, would it? The fan belt would help with the cooling and possibly charging the battery, depending what the fan belt loops around. It shouldn't stop it starting. So based on that theory, I'm going to leave the fan belt for now. What's these? Welding wire. Okay. Uh, radiator hose. A uh, radiator hose lower. That's to do with the cooling, obviously. But for now, I just want to get it running. That's V8 stuff. All V8 stuff on the shelf, I would presume, then. Yep. Right, let's try that. Wrong side of the car. Let's try that, see if it runs. Just stop. It's a good chance it won't run. Ooh. There is a real good chance that won't, it still won't run. We also need to eat and drink. But we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. When we get home. Thank you. 
easy to drive past the house as well. <laughs> but we're home. We've made it back. Let's turn it off. Jump out the car. Let's go and get some food and drink before I die. Now, once you drop these cans, you can't pick them up. Which is a little annoying. To, like, put them in the bin or whatever. So they're just kind of in the world and... I now can't pick them up again. Not a huge issue. Not a huge issue. But, yeah. Just something to note. Now, this should go on here, possibly, I hope, yes, beautiful, and we get the wrench out and tighten that down, like I said, there's lots of loose bolts on the car in general. I don't know if that's supposed to be a sign that um, there's things missing there or not. I don't know. That top hose is all good. Literally just a case of mouse wheeling when you're around the bolts to... Tighten as much as you can get at. Tighten as much as you can see. You can hear it working away. And ticking when you... Uh, when you get that far. When you get to a, a bolt that's loose. But yeah. So let's get those spark uh, plug wires, which I believe are on the back seat, and put those on. I did put the fuel in. Oop. Where's the... Where's the tick? I need the tick. There we go. Okay. So there's that. Now let's see what we got. Doesn't sound good, does it? So that's not everything. I know the fan belt was in the shop. But like I said earlier, I'm pretty sure that's not going to stop it starting. I'm also not sure what that sort of sign means. So... I think the next stage is to take this cover off and see what we see under there. So let's just do that. Don't want to have to dismantle the entire engine to get it running. That seems a bit extreme. But maybe we'll see something by removing that. Jump back down there. Right. So what I'm seeing <coughs> is the um well, the entire cam shaft is missing. They miss it? No, the camshaft is there, the cam gear is missing. 
So that's not going to help, is it? So we need the cam gear. We need a cam gear. Before I do anything else, let's just tighten all this down. Because I'm sure it's going to be all, all going to be loose. Yes, it's not in the best position. Best, uh, not in the best nick, I will admit that. But if we can get it running, we can worry about upgrading to better parts in the in the future. So we need a cam gear. I wonder if it's got a starter motor then. I wonder if the starter motor is missing or it's faulty. Now, in here, we do have a... Uh, what do you call them? Well, these skateboards. Which... You can use. So, let's pop that down. Get on it. And... See what we see underneath. There's the alternator, obviously. So we do we do need the fan belt. But that won't stop it starting. Piss? Is that missing bolts? Do you know what I mean about all these loose bolts? I mean, this is great game, you know? It, it it doesn't tell you what it's missing. At the same time... Jeez, I hope I don't have to get inside of that and fix all that stuff. That needs to be done up. You can kind of glitch inside a few things, you see? Just like my summer car. Not the most conventional way, to, not the conventional way to do it, but um, hey, it works. Obviously, we've got to put oil in it now that that's tight. Uh, starter motor is what I was looking for. should connect to the gear box on the engine block somewhere now I know these bolts look like they're not in properly but they're also not doing up anymore so I'm going to presume that they're in Is it missing the starter motor? I can't see where it should go. Unless it should go there. No, because it looks like it's the same on the other side. Hang on. It's like a... Why is there a big square there? There's the starter motor. So the starter motor is present. Can we get at it and are we able to test it? I guess maybe not.
Okay. So it does have a starter motor. Doesn't... I would say it doesn't look like I'm able to test it. It's not easy using this dolly either. Or this skateboard, I should say. Do we just bite the bullet and change the start motor as well? I think the first thing we've got to do is get that cam gear. So that's definitely missing. So... We'll sleep. We'll go and buy the cam gear. And then come back. Alright, how do we get off this thing? Like that. Let's... Ooh, the food is in the car still. Uh, where is it? There. Grocery bag? Da -da 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 -da. Explode. We'll eat one. Put the rest in the fridge. Good stuff. Oh, I loves me some beef and cheese. The beef and cheese. Beefarino. Beefarino. Oops. There we go. And we'll have a beer as well. Half full, but you have potential. Guess that's because we've drunk half a pack of beer, maybe? Let's get some sleep. Right. Now let's head back into town. Um, okay, we'll keep that oil on us for a minute. We're going to head back into town and we're going to buy that cam gear. In the shop. There we go. And buy that cam gear. And we'll go from there. time over there. That's bad! Oh, I thought I was going off the cliff again. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I got a little bit worried there. As the adventures continue. Right. I don't know. Locate it in this shop. It must be on this shelf, I would imagine. Then again, I could be wrong. Ah, gears. Timing gear 2, 1. Cam gear. Timing gear 3. It's the cam gear. 55 with just a little bit short. A little short. Okay, no problem. We'll do some trash bags. Uh, 
let's do some do a run with the trash bag trash bags because that will get us some good money as well see look the oil lights on on this thing again see what I mean about drinking the fuel that the oil sorry So, let's head into town and load up the trash bags. And then... We can go back and get the... Cam gear. I probably should have took the... Timing cover off then to check if we need any other uh, cam gears or timing gears. But it's too late now. <laughs> we'll just have to deal with that another day. Oh my fucking car. <laughs> I did say bucking with a B. A bravo. That was not a swear word. Because I, I, was, I was explaining what, the, describing what the car was doing. Put it in the correct side though. Uh -huh. Don't do that. No, don't do that. I'm busy. I'm really busy. Stop. Right. Is that one? Yep. Stop. Uh. Should hopefully go in this side. Like that. There we go, that's six bags. There's some down here? Yes. There is. Stop! These bags loaded up. So I'm trying to squeeze it in the footwell. Seven. Eight. Will that shut? Yes. We're going to squeeze nine bags in the car. That's one more than last time, he says. Maybe. Uh, that's it. All right, bags. Are we ready? Good. I can't see nothing. Funny that. <laughs> these bags down to the dump. Bags are moving about, that's not good. As long as I don't lose the bags, and I don't kill the car, we should be good. the right button it helps that's not the right button 
I'm back, buddy, with some more trash bags. Let's put them all in. Did we lose one? We might have lost a bag. I can't quite tell if we lost a bag or not. We did have nine bags in the car. I might have dropped one, or one might have, like, pinged out the car. all of them from the car anyway. Amy, let's pretend this never happened. So 47, 137. No, nope, we didn't lose one. Beautiful. Shut this and this. What we could do is just clear out the rubbish from the town. Because I think there's only like one load of rubbish left at most. Before the town is cleared. And I don't know what actually happens then, so I might actually do that first. Yeah, let's do that. Let's just finish clearing the rubbish from the town. Brain. I guess it just respawns. But, uh, yeah. It'll also get us uh, a ton more money, so... You know, gotta be worth it. Yeah, it's just, I think the rubbish is just respawning slowly. So I'm pretty sure I already picked this bag up once. Yeah, it's respawning down there. Okay, fine. So this is like a, a recurring job, so I'm not going to worry too much then in that case. Let's just take these down to the, uh, the rubbish dump, and then we'll come back up and we'll get... We'll get the candy. So I guess once you close off the game and then reload into it, it's gonna reset a few things anyway. Jump being one of them. bags. That's a good day's work. That's a good, uh, good payout, to be fair. Oh, oops. I haven't tried the other jobs yet, obviously. The only one I did try when I was messing about was this job. I didn't want to ruin it for myself as well. Ooh, let's collect the money. Let's... Come on in. Let's pretend this never happened. All right, you pretend it didn't happen, buddy. But I'm taking your money. Right. Let's go buy that cam gear, put it on the, cut on the truck, and see if that 
fires it to life. Whoa. Let's see if that fires the truck into life. Gears, 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 gears. Transfer case. Oh, we needed that belt as well, didn't we? Uh, so we want the cam gear. And we'll get the fan belt as well. Because that was missing. Where is it? Where's the fan belt gone? Who moved the fan belt? Did I buy a fan belt? I didn't buy a fan belt, did I? I know it needed one. There it is. Fan belt. Pretty sure it had the crank gear. Or crank shaft, crank pulley. Pretty sure it's got a crank pulley. I know it's got an alternator, I've seen that. Right. That's not shut. Now it is. Uh, we'll also buy another thing of oil. While we're here. this needs it. The starters. So let's pop this in. See, that's took all of that oil. Just, can you just... Perfect. This thing has obviously got some sort of oil leak. No, that's it. Okay. Chuck that in the car. Uh, oops. No. That one. We're okay for fuel for a minute. Let's let's get back to the truck. Put the crank. Uh, sorry. No, yeah, that's the camshaft. Pull it on. And the fan belt. Because that was missing. And we'll go from there. Let's see what happens. See if it springs into life. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, not again. Oh, oh, oh. Wow, okay. <laughs> Somehow we didn't fly off the cliff that time. Which I'm grateful for. Uh, 
home should be just around this corner here somewhere. On the left hand side we're looking for a mailbox. There it is, that's a mailbox. So we're up around here. There we go. Perfect. Turn that off. Jump out. We want that one. We're gonna put this on the car. Like so. Want that one. Beautiful. Uh we want put that one back on. I love these sorts of games, you know? My Summer Car, Mamba Zoo, this. It's just so, like, challenging but rewarding at the same time, if you know what I mean. Like, it's not telling me what's wrong with it. I've got to figure it out. So, that was missing. Sweet. Now, if we take that off and put oil in it. Okay. Fine. Doesn't want to take any more. Let's fire it up and see what happens. It runs! I fixed it! I'm... I'm a genius! I purrs like a kitten too. Ah! Oh, I fixed it! I fixed you. I left the fuel cap open. I fixed you. <laughs> it runs. <laughs> Music to my ears. She's alive. Where are you going? Stop. That's up. Big headlight switch. Oh. She's alive! Wow, that glare from the lights. That's terrible. That's terrible lights. <laughs> <sighs> I fixed it. That was a double click, wasn't it? Yeah. I can't believe it. She's alive! <gasps> oh. Beautiful. Piece of artwork. Should probably check the wheels are on tight though, shouldn't I? Because... The... Cause game. Does game be trolling? So, yes, she's alive. I don't know if that's a flat tire or whether it's a little bit of a glitch, you know? Because I don't think there's any way to pump the tires up, per se. But yeah, how about that? How about that? She's alive! She also has only has one seat in that. I just noticed. 
There's no seat in this side. Rather interesting. Wow, okay. So you jump in and it automatically shifts forward. Good to know. Well, there you go. I got it running. Let's move it back. How much fuel has it got? Oh, it's actually full. Okay, fine. Let's shut it off. What? The glitch. What the glitch? Huh? I've broken the game! Okay, I fixed it. Right, okay, it's off. Right. Stop messing about. Shut that door. We're gonna eat, drink, and save. Eat. A beer to celebrate. Sounds about good. Sounds about right. We need another beer. We need a, we need another beer. Ugh. There we go. Another beer. Ah. Uh. So this car is just all hunk of junk of trash. Now it's um yeah. We don't care about the car. We care about the truck. We got a truck! Did I buy a third thing for the truck or not? No, I didn't. Well, this 12 pack can go in here anyway. Just cause it can. This car, that can stay there. This fuel can, we don't need that right now, so that can come back in here. Uh, the oil. What do I do with the oils? Uh, uh, I guess we put them on the shelf for now. I mean, look at it, it's beautiful. It's nice. It's... it's green. Let's pop... Whoa, I knocked that off. Whoops. Just doing a bit of housekeeping. There we go. We can paint it. Can we paint it? Oh. We can paint it. Black. Yes, a black truck. That's better than the green. Much better than the green. Pop that there. Nice. Nice. Well. Episode 3. I think what we're going to look at is uh, moving that furniture for Scapegoat. I'm going to keep calling him Scapegoat because he sounds exactly like Scapegoat. I'm pretty sure he's voiced it. Pretty sure he's voiced it. Go and, go and check out Scapegoat on YouTube. Then let me know in the comments. What do you think? I'm pretty sure he is Scapegoat. Um, but yeah. Episode 3, we're going to go and move that furniture for him. 
maybe check out the logging as well with the chainsaw cutting down the trees and stuff transporting that see how much money that gets us uh yeah we'll go from there but she's alive and uh yeah thanks for watching till next time bye for now